Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the start of a video that I'm going to film all week and it is going to be uh, seven days of rice water scalp treatments um, for hair growth. So I was kind of inspired by this to do this video by one of the YouTubers that I like to watch, um, Audrey Victoria. I'll leave her channel link down below if you guys are interested. She did this video. Um, I've actually been doing rice water scalp treatments um for a while now it's not necessarily a super new thing but i've had a few weeks of not doing it um and i thought that i would sort of do it pick it back up again show you on camera um if you guys are interested i have a whole video talking about rice water which i'll leave linked in the cards up here and in the description box down below um but basically um i like to use a rice water rinse on my hair once a week or once a fortnight depending on how my hair's health is feeling um and i thought that i would do just the scalp treatment this week to see um what kind of hair growth results i get so i've literally just emptied some of the rice water that i made this week now um i don't boil my rice water i make it slightly differently to some other people i ferment it um fresh in the glass for a couple days this has been there for maybe like close to a week maybe um and i've got some essential oils and stuff in there and i've just put it into one of these like eco-friendly little jars um but first of all we're going to measure my hair so when i first cut my hair um in mid-march my hair was 11 inches long which is just crazy go this way it looks a bit off. It doesn't really like measure properly because it's going around my head. But I'll grab a chunk of hair and just go like that. All the way to the end of the hair. It's about there. 15.8 or 15 and a half. Give or take 15 and a half inches. Exactly. So I'm going to write that down because otherwise I forget. So Today is Sunday and I'm going to do this every day for uh, seven days. Uh, so that's excited. So first of all, I'm going to use my little hair clips to section off my hair. Some days I'll do this, some days I won't. Um, it really depends on if I can be bothered. Um, some days I'll just sort of spray it directly into my scalp all over the place and go with it. So. Pop this down my throat. Is anyone else having those sort of like weeks where everything that can go wrong keeps going wrong? I just like managed to snap my nail, which is super fun. Anyway, so let's get in there. So I'm going to go straight into the scalp. I'm not going to put any of this on the shaft because that's just going to dry out my hair, which I really don't want to do. I do have like a massage shampoo, like shower brush that I can use as well. You might see that throughout this week. Now I am massaging with my fingertips, not my nails. I do not want to scratch my scalp. I want to massage it in. Um, I'm also going to be keeping this rice water in the fridge to keep it fresh. And yeah, so that is today. Um, I will check back in tomorrow and for the rest of the week. So this is what I'm starting out with. Like I said, 15 and a half inches. Um, that's what I'm starting with. And let's see how much my hair can go in one week. Day two of my rice water seven day challenge. Um, got my little spray bottle um, and today I'm just going to um, randomly disperse it through my hair I'm not gonna bother separating it um, my hair feels really nice 
little bit knotty. Um, I'm on day four here today, so it is a little bit greasy up the top, um, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't get washed. I won't wash it again for a couple more days, so I'm not really fussed by the grease. day two just got my little bottle of rice water as you saw I've just spread it all throughout my hair and I'm just going to sort of massage it in nicely um, and then pop it back up brush it through and pop it back up my ponytail um, and sort of continue on um, tomorrow I will um, be working out and so my hair will get wet throughout the day and so um, but it won't change anything. Um, even when I wash my hair, it, um, I will do the spray pre-wash. Um, otherwise, it won't really change anything in my routine. But like I said, I probably won't wash it for another couple days. Um, it's actually feeling okay. It's not feeling... I'm not going anywhere, so I don't care if it really looks greasy. Um, and it doesn't feel bad or anything like that. Um doesn't feel greasy or gross so my hair feels pretty soft um, at the moment it's pretty tangle free which is nice um, for the most part I have pretty thick tangly hair it's really easy um, so as you can see the brush glides through it pretty easily um, another thing I've noticed with rice water is I don't get as much fall out of my hair um, which is really nice I find that really helps and it also helps to fill in like my hairline look at all these baby hairs look at these these have all been since i started using rice water all of this hair growth has been since march see it because it's like here and same with this side all of this has been since march so <clears throat> if you guys were wondering what kind of effects rice water seems to have on my scalp that's uh, some of it so Anyway, that's the end of day two, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Day three. Day three. I've just done a workout, so excuse the appearance. Um, I'm going to just brush out my hair. I have to say my hair feels a lot uh, less knotty and smooth. As you guys can probably tell, my hair has nowhere near as many knots as it should, considering I just did like an hour-long bike ride with my hair in a really high, um, pretty tight ponytail. So I'm just gonna. Um, today is the day in my routine that I generally co-wash my hair, so I will do that today. But I'm gonna put this in my hair first, and then let it sit for a few minutes before I go in and rinse it out. So, as usual, my spray. that in like usual um, and then I'm gonna go brush my hair and have a shower well, I'm gonna just co-wash my hair probably um, it's right now day five ish in my um, four or five in my hair washing routine that um, my head starts to get a little like itchy I guess from being dirty and sweaty especially since I work out um, I think it's just 
it's got nothing to do with the rice water and everything to do with sweat just being on my scalp even after rinsing it with water um so generally i try and either co-wash it or if it's feeling really gross i'll shampoo it and wash it so um if you guys are interested in my full hair care routine i will leave that linked up in the cards up here and in the description box down below But I think that's it. I'm going to brush it through and then I'm going to go and have a shower. So, yeah. Um, as for how my hair's feeling, it's feeling really thick, it's feeling really smooth. Um, it's feeling really gross right now because I just worked out, but it's feeling a lot less tangly than usual. Um, and like even just brushing this through, it feels really nice. Um, and I've got a lot less fallout, which you can't tell on the hairbrush, but when I like am in the shower or running my fingers through my hair, I have a lot less breakage and fallout than usual, so that's nice. But yeah, that is that. Um, and it is time to shower. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day four. Day four. Um, same as the last couple of days. I will say my hair has been feeling really smooth and tangle free today, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, as per usual, as per yesterday, I've just finished my workout probably like an hour ago, um, and I'm about to go shower. So let's spray and distribute. end of the week I'll probably use this as a rinse the rest of this in the shower as a rinse when I wash my hair um but until then I'm just going to use it on my scalp <sighs> how are you guys all going with COVID I feel like everywhere all over the world is having different sort of reactions to it um like I said I think yesterday we're in stage four restrictions here in Melbourne um, and it's been kind of difficult I guess especially now the boys my kids are home full-time um, and my husband's trying to work full-time from home um, it's really trying to keep them away from him and keep them entertained they've closed all local parks and we're only allowed to leave our house for one hour a day um, and since it's been winter, we haven't really set up our backyard yet, so we're going to have to find a way to sort of entertain them a bit more. Um, I do have a double jogging stroller that I might start taking out, um, although my boys are quite heavy, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, I can normally run, you know, four or five K comfortably on the treadmill, but outside I'm not really sure how that's going to work. With them being so heavy, it might end up being only two or three kilometre runs. But it might be a way to get us out of the house. Um, but that's weather permitting. Um, unlike today, where it's pouring down rain. And freezing. I think it's currently eight degrees outside. And it was two degrees, or three degrees, when we took them to Kinder this morning. So, yeah. Anyway, that is today's rice water like I said it's something I have noticed is my hair is a lot less um, knotty um, and it actually does feel a little bit thicker I don't know whether I'm imagining that um, and I could be but it feels a little bit thicker at my scalp and I find that especially around my hairline um, all these sections here are filling in more and more um, and especially around here which is sort of a place and normally the hair's a little bit sparse, but it's around, it's actually filling out quite a lot here and here as well. Um, so yeah, time for me to go and shower 
and I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. Hi guys, welcome to day five, four, five, four. I'll put it on the screen here. Um, it's it's been a long day. Um, five, four. Maybe. I don't know. Um, just finished my bike ride for the day. It is time to wash my hair. Um, my hair feels super, really healthy, nice and soft, which is a really nice change. Um, it actually doesn't feel too greasy. You can see that it's greasy, the roots, but it doesn't actually feel really. It feels so soft down here, and like you can see that there's not a lot of frizz. Or breakage <clears throat> so that's nice so I'm about to have my shower and wash my hair um time to going to use the rest of this rice water in my shower as well so I'm going to shampoo my hair do the rinse and then I will condition um, while I'm in the shower so I'm also going to do that um, because I haven't done it in two weeks and it's time to do that um, if you guys are interested in my hair washing routine I will leave that in the cards and in the description box um, I'll be using the Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner today because that's what's due in my rotation um and yeah <sighs> i'm gonna wait for this to set in my hair in a minute and then i'm going to brush it out and then i'm gonna go have a shower and i'll see you guys tomorrow for day whatever this number is because i can't remember right now it's like nine o'clock at night it's been a long day Lachlan got up at 4 30 this morning 4.30 so it's been a long day um so whatever day it is I will see you tomorrow um for the next day in my seven days hi guys welcome to today's update uh, today's rice water um I can't even remember where we're at what day we're at maybe day five I don't know, I really need to check past footage and see what they were up to. Um, I think day five. I thought yesterday was day five, but I have a feeling it's today. Um, today is, I washed my hair last night, so technically it's like day one, two hair. Somewhere in the middle, but yeah, it feels really nice. This is all air dried. I went to sleep with it damp last night, but it's time to do my rest water. Um, I also did a rice water rinse in the shower last night. Um, yeah, so. Nothing really new to update you guys on today. Besides Lachlan getting up. At the crack of dawn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call it the lower back of dawn. Because the sun was a good couple hours from being up when Lachlan decided to wake up. Um, it was like, I don't know, 4 20 something in the morning. Um, in which case, we had to go in and settle him. And once he's awake, he sort of doesn't want to go back to sleep, which is something we're having issues with. So, if you guys have tips on how to get your toddler, to sleep in a bit further in the morning. Let me know. I'm uh I've yet to have any luck. We bought him a clock 
that changes colour for night time and daytime. And he knows the difference because he will tell you um, what colour the clock is. Um, so it's blue at night time and it goes yellow during the day. Um, and so he'll tell you that the clock is yellow and so it's daytime. And I'm like, oh. When he gets up in the morning, I'm like, look, then your clock's still blue, it's still night time. And he's like, no, mummy. No. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. But, yeah. So, like I said, my hair, we're on day, like I think it's five. My hair is feeling really healthy and really shiny. Um, I'm not going to measure it. I'm still going to give it the full seven days, but I don't know if it feels like it's grown, but it feels really smooth. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's super thick looking at the moment. Um, and yeah, um, I'm still using the same batch of rice water. I've just refilled the bottle, um, again, but yeah. That's really it for today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for day six, I think. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but I'm pretty sure today is day five and I'll be back with day six. Hi guys, welcome to today's rice water application. Don't mind my face. I just did a workout. Um, so, I'm particularly gross, but it's okay. We're going to apply the rice water to my scalp and then I'm going to have a shower anyway. So, that should be fun. Um, today is day six, I think. Um, and tomorrow being the finished week, um, we will measure to see if I had any extra growth. So, same rice water container as the rest of the week. Now I will massage it in. As much as I'm not sure if doing this for a week straight is actually going to cause too much growth for my hair, um, I do know that rice water is great for hair growth. Um, I cut my hair in early March. Yeah, mid-March. Um, and um, I'll put a picture here of what it was when I cut it. And it has grown so much since then. Um, way more than it probably would have naturally had I not used dry off water as a regular treatment. Um, I have a blog post um, where I talk all about it that I'll leave in the description box down below if you're interested to know what I did um, and the whole routine. But um, yeah, it's crazy. I'm going to go and brush my hair and have a shower and I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven to finish up this week's uh, experiment, I guess. Hi guys, we have made it to day seven. At least I hope it's day seven. I could be a day off this whole video and if I am, there'll be another slide after this one. Um, but I'm pretty sure we've made it to day seven and... Oh, what a week it has been. And let's be honest, today's actually Sunday when I'm filming this. And so, it's been. It is actually the end of the week and I'm, oh, I'm kind of glad this week's over. I'm so ready for a new week. Is anyone else feeling that at the moment? Or they're just, they're so ready for this week to be over. So ready. Anyway, anyway, let's brush my hair through. 
Um, one thing I have noticed is my hair has been extra shiny. And I've also got a lot less fallout this week, which I have found whenever I've used rice water before. Um, but I get a lot less uh, fallout when I am using it, as opposed to when I'm not. Um, which is nice. I'm not saying it completely stops fallout, um, like, overall. But it definitely slows it down. Um, and I remember, whenever I start using my sword, I remember why I used it in the first place. Um, and another thing I do, I do also um, wash my brush after I've used rice water. I just give it a rinse because I don't want rice water sitting in it. So. One thing I've noticed with rice water is my hairline, all these sections all refill back in. Um, since I've started using it, like all here, it's all baby hairs. Um, over the last couple months, which is really nice, because I lost a lot of the hair around here um, postpartum. And yeah, as you can see, there's all these little baby hairs coming through. Yeah. And I also, here, this is all a lot thicker, where I used to get a lot of postpartum hair loss here too. So, alright. Time to start putting this off. So when I started this, my hair was at 15 and a half or 15.8 inches. So let's find that. So we were at 15 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 15.8 here or 15 and a half. I did it from the right side of my head and I did it from about an inch back. So let's see what we end up. And that measured out at just short of 16 inches. Yeah, so I'd say we're looking at just short of 16 inches. So that's to say that my hair grew give or take half an inch in a week. So. I mean, I think that that is pretty impressive. Um, I feel like my hair definitely looks a little bit longer than when I started at the beginning of the week. I'll put a side by side in here, here, um, to sort of compare, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with those results. Um, like I said, possibly Next week, I will do a video on the immersion method and let's see if we can get some more growth. Um, and then I might even do a video on using coconut oil and peppermint oil every day for a week to see if we get any results from that. So let me know if you guys have any other like um, myths that you want busted and whether they help your hair to grow um, and we can do a video on them. It'd be interesting thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video please don't forget to click the subscribe button and let me know if you've tried rice water and what your results were